Morning guys, welcome to Sunday. I just wanted to show you that. So that's a new rear light that I'm running. I'll drop the link to it below because I actually have no idea what it is. That's cool, isn't it? All right, I'm late as usual. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing the dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snippet. And whatever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. We cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been dad. When a f me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it from you. Yeah. Crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up in Slitty, wherever we flow. I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor. I stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier. Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to you. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Talk that good when you talk to me. Hello, Jesse. So, you're big on on the bike strength stuff, aren't you? You love that stuff. Oh yeah, why not? Yeah. Get it in the 5311. You got any of that chat for me, or should I just play the video? He's gonna put it in a big gear. I'm gonna ride it on his wheel. Yeah, it should be interesting. So we are on the DJI Osmo, which I uh, thought I should set out straight away. But uh, yeah, and here we are, sort of northern reaches of Sydney. This is Mount White, which is a climb kind of just north of uh, Brooklyn in, in Sydney. It's a set of eight, nine minute climb, um, pretty consistent gradient the whole way. A lot of these gorgeous climbs around Sydney are, are kind of a real sort of five, six percent. So good for this type of stuff. Now, what is this type of stuff? Well, as I sort of mentioned there, as we chatted with Jesse, he's just doing some, some strength stuff. And I want to show you a few of these climbs. This specific one, he is doing out of the saddle. So he mixed up uh, the four efforts that he did today on the bike with seated efforts and standing efforts, uh, pretty much choosing the, the standing efforts on the, the sort of slightly steeper climbs. So I, I kind of wanted to show you here is that um, the gearing that he's kind of using and the cops there on the right always amazes us when we come up there how many cops there are and yet how many motorcyclists still love absolutely railing the corners. But you can see, so he's climbing at the moment in the tops and as he gets a little bit further to the top, you'll see him move into the drops, he actually puts out a bit more power in that, that area. Uh, and we do go a good bit faster up this last bit and it's a little bit more difficult for me to sit on. Keep pushing, good boy. Good lad. So you can actually see there, guys, that's the, the type of gearing and the type of effort that, that he's done up that particular climb. The other one I wanted to show you guys was a seated effort. So this is a seated effort that he's doing uh, up Bob and Head. And I should sort of stress that like he doesn't ride this to a number. He's pretty much just putting it in as hard a gear as he can physically handle and try and turn it over. This, this it's pretty sort of old school stuff. And, and, and like, uh, like we sort of mentioned in the, the beginning there, this is more just about mixing it up. Just, you know, changing up, changing up efforts. And we do find doing this type of stuff that uh, it, it's, it's almost a bit of a mental kind of, it's mentally easier. It kind of allows you to challenge yourself to a different sort of way. You know, you challenge yourself to a gear rather than challenge yourself to a number. I know that's, that's really the way a lot of guys used to train, which is, which is always quite interesting. But um, so this is him doing that seated effort. And he's probably in like sort of, the 53, 15-ish, I'd imagine. What we tend to do with these efforts, though, is we will try and do them through the top of the climb. That's another sort of big part of we'll do. So we'll try and turn it into maybe a 10 or 11 minute effort. And that's not always possible, but for example, here at um, Bob and Head, so you go through the, the marker at the top where most, most people sort of tend to, to shut off, and we'll probably try and ride another couple of minutes over the top of that. Winter begins tomorrow for us. As you can tell, we're gonna to have to probably, we may even have to put, I know, knee warmers on. So yeah, this is obviously a bit of a classic ride in Sydney, a gorgeous ride out to Brooklyn. We kind of skip the Brooklyn part and go up Mount White and spin around up there. 
I don't know about you guys, but I kind of feel like this weekend, certainly here in Sydney, it sort of feels like the the end of the, oh, I've got to get this for reference right, <laughs> the end of the other phase and the, the start of opening back up. So that's the first time I've been on a ride with more than one other person. Awesome to see Leo, a really interesting chat with him actually about his exams and everything and essentially saying that he's going to be online, he's going to be remote for the entire year, really. There's not going to be much, any, going into university in 2020 for him. So, uh, yeah, but he's got a couple more weeks of exams and then he's going to be training. So that could hopefully time up pretty well with uh, getting back into some racing. So this was a bit of a disappointment today. So as you would have seen in the beginning, it looked like it was amazing. It lit me up. Like after, by the time we got to Mount Wyatt, this wasn't working anymore. But here's the weird thing, right? So I haven't gone to charge it back up again. That still works. It's a user related issue, but there's loads of modes, okay? There's heaps of modes. So I need to figure them all out. And it's got a motion sensor in it. So I also have a feeling that whatever mode I've set it on, it's not working if there's nothing around me. The, the, the actual reason I brought that up yesterday was more just around the whole, like how cycling is played out in the mainstream media and we were chatting about this earlier on. So there's a controversy at the moment going on in, in Australia. A young rugby league player has tested positive for some good old school steroids. There's no, there's no like, you know, masking agents here. He's just gone old school. He's like, I'm on the roids, boys. And it's the way the media play it. It's like, oh, we should feel sorry for this guy. Like, oh, he's so young, so sad how he's gonna lose, you know, his career, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you, if that was a cyclist testing positive, the media narrative would be totally different. It would be like, oh, the, the, the culture of cycling has just proved itself again to be dirty, blah, blah, blah. That was kind of why yesterday I got super frustrated about why are we now seeing another Lance documentary from just trotted out of old information that we all have heard about. Um, yeah, I'm not saying we shouldn't feel sorry for him. I'm sp sp Purely yeah, talking about the media narrative, like the mainstream media narrative, from the perspective of people again, okay, trying to get into the sport, oh, oh, here's a documentary on cycling, oh, it's about Lance, oh, it's about doping. It's like, oh yeah, I watched that mo movie star one, the one on Netflix. Holy hell, that was awesome. They just laid it out on each other. It's like Lander and Quintana are just like, yeah, I hate him, yeah, I hate him. Yeah, beyond the Peloton. Beyond the Peloton loveliness. Mm, that was good. It was yeah. a good show. So actually, okay, that's a really good point, Liz. What is your favorite bit of 
cycling related content online. And I'm not talking about, it doesn't have to be movies. We could like maybe suggest, like I was out last night with a bunch of mates and two of those guys had just started getting a little bit into riding. I was kind of suggesting things for them to go and watch. And actually one of the things I suggested was some of the old Beyond the Peloton uh, videos and some of the uh, Tour of California, Rafa Continental ones. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. They're not as long as I remember, they're only like two or three minutes. So. No, but they're, they're really beautiful. That's what's yeah. missing out. Rafa, I'd like to do some Rafa Continentals. Send a full production team down from the UK and we'll we'll do one. Promise. Huh? How are they getting into the Don't know yet. Don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, do let us know about any cycling content that you that you really do recommend. I will get better at getting into the comments. I just find when I'm doing the daily stuff over the weekend, I'm just trying to get the video out and then spend the afternoon with the guys. All right, so I'll jump in the comments as the week goes on, I promise. Do please get your uh, pro team jersey. There's a heap of great routes coming in in the last couple of days, so they're gonna have to be good to win. That's all I'll say. We'll see you very, very soon. Yeah, it should be interesting. Kind of. See what I did there? That's already happened. It's already happened. I know what happens. <laughs>